to the issue. So today I'll be teaching you to tame the Karka, both with PvE and PvP. Nice, let's go into it. Nice. So here's a map to show you all the Karka spawns on the island. Heads up, you have to be level 96 to actually make the saddle. Nice. Starting with PvE, I tried the trap method because I heard it works. You know, the same trap as used for Giga. Four metal gateways and two large bear traps inside just to make sure. And honestly, this way is so glitchy. It is so not worth it. it. Honestly, it was such a pain to get them in there. Their turning radius is so fast, they can avoid the trap so easily. And I don't know what's wrong with the AI, but I swear it's super smart because they managed to avoid the trap every single time. And honestly, died a few times trying to get this. But honestly, if you want to do this, do it out in the wild. Make sure you have something to drag with you to feed him, T-Rex. The traps are good in theory, but they never seem to work. It can glitch out the eating animation, which you can see right now. He's trying to sniff, giving him a cheeky sniff. Does he want him? No, he doesn't, because he just stands there for ages looking about, and I have to wait again for him to actually take the food. It's riskier doing it without the trap, but honestly, it's worked so much better every single time I've tried it without the trap. The trap just puts them into some sort of loop, and they just don't care. Take two, give him a cheeky little sniff. You'll know if it's worked once he eats it, knocks you back, does a bit of damage. Does a chew animation, then he lights up green, saying that the taming's in progress. So as soon as you do that, let him out of the trap, jump on him, and you're good to go. Now that you're on his back, you'll want to kill pretty much anything in sight. But the worst thing I found when trying to tame one of these boys is rocks. Yes, rocks. It doesn't matter about other tames. It's literal rocks where you go over the top of them, go a bit too high, and you take full damage. Whether it's 1 HP or 100 HP, it destroys the tame effectiveness. So rocks are the worst thing in the game. Nice. I thought rare, using rare flowers might be the way to go as it lures everyone in, but honestly, it's not worth it. All it takes is one lucky Triantom, which almost hit me right here, to ruin the tame and effectiveness. While in theory, it makes it slightly faster. Honestly, it's not worth it due to the risk of everything it brings. The Parasol ruin a 150 Karka tame. That would be wounding. As you can see, I'm currently on 99 kills, and as soon as I hit 100, I get knocked off. This does affect tame and effectiveness by 0.01%. So you've just got to keep an eye on it and let it degrade by itself until it's back down to a lower kill count. So this tame could have easily been 100% if I wasn't being a little muppet. But if you keep watching, I'll show you that despite losing out on that 0.001 taming effectiveness on PvE, you still can get 100% as long as you keep an eye on the tracker and make sure it doesn't go over 100. The longer it, you go without feeding, the faster it will degrade, so it won't be long. But just keep an eye on the time in the top right. Make sure he's not going to turn around and start attacking you or knock you off himself. And you should be able to get it easy. Nice. Quickly going through it again. Just feed on every single thing I can. Just for the record, Diplos are the best due to their high health count. And obviously there's no risk of them damaging you because all they have is that pushback attack. So they cannot affect Tame and affect us whatsoever, which is lovely. On PvE, I would probably recommend playing it safe and sticking to places like the beach because obviously it's not too far from the spawn and there's not much that can attack you back where if you tried in the snow biome and tried killing rhinos, which are pretty good percentage-wise, they can always fight back and all it takes is one to charge at you from nowhere or attack one wolf from the pack to attack you from behind and you'll lose all your taming effectiveness. So it's a bit boring. It takes a little while because obviously dodos, tranodons and stuff, but honestly, it's worth it in the long run. So last kill, we've tamed him. Just to let you know, obviously, once you've actually tamed him, you will need a saddle to ride him. Otherwise, you won't be able to. Next up is PvP, which is unbelievably easier compared to PvE. This time, it's a PvP method. I tried without the trap this time because traps can be so glitchy. The animations doesn't go off right, and they can attack you, and they can eat the food, but it just doesn't work. But without the trap, it actually worked a million times better, and it was so much easier. For the record, PvP is so much easier. All you have to do is have a million baby Rexes and unclaim them all. And you literally just chomp down, chow down, eat as many as you can. But make sure not to go over 99 or you will get knocked off again. I did hear that if you roar, it negates um, the kill count. But it hasn't worked at all for me. So I don't think that's true. So just make sure you don't go over 99 so you can stay on the tame. 
and what you want to do is wait for the count to go down remember the longer you go without feeding the faster it'll go down here i got impatient and i just figured i'll give him a go but as you can see that took me two seconds to get to 50 percent so all you need to do is have a few more rexes maybe in a pen just make sure they don't run away and you're set so the carcass first ability is left click which is his bite attack if you then press c you do his special attack which is his raw which also has an insight bonus then if you right click it does his tail whip attack which knocks back pretty much anything in this path. So the Karcher has three passive abilities, one's bloodless, one's shredded and one's killing frenzy. So the bloodless ability is always shown in the middle, every time you get a kill it goes up. Each time it goes up you get more damage and you get more HP regen. The shredded ability works similar to a Giga but instead of causing bleed damage you make sure that the target cannot heal so it works against other carcass it works against data and snow owls it can counter them so it's a good counter play if they're just playing healing or anything like that as you can see i built on my passive ability and i let our roar this roar incites any dino apart from carcass themselves and it grants a movement ability this can stack up to 55 seconds if you have 100 stacks of blood rage Next up we'll show you the shredded ability which prevents healing which you can tell from the clear blue outline of the smoke. It may not seem useful but imagine fighting a tribe and they've got a Daedon at the back healing up a Rex or a Giga. With this you'll be able to counter them and just pure out damage them. Now if there's any dino you want to scream I'm fast as fuck boy on it's this boy. Every time you kill something you get a speed buff lasting 10 seconds. This can be refreshed if you kill another creature and it will reset to 10 but this does not stack so if you on 9 seconds and you kill another one it will reset to 10 and not go to 19.